<clears throat> Since I started actually trying to build this channel a little over a year ago, I've watched probably dozens of videos about how to grow a YouTube channel. And the thing that you want to accomplish, no question, is you've got to about your Like you have to about your Guys, honestly, straight up. And most of these were from massive channels that already had like hundreds of thousands of subscribers. We're getting millions of views per video. Maybe even the video I was watching had gone viral. And I always wonder while I'm watching those if their advice and perspective would have been drastically different had they made that video at the beginning of their journey or somewhere in the middle before things really took off. So that's the perspective that I would like to attempt to provide in this video. I've never had a video go viral or even anything close to that. It's just been slow growth with a lot of ups and downs along the way. And I'm gonna try to distill here in a relatively short fashion, some of the lessons that I've learned the hard way and continue to learn the hard way so that hopefully you won't have to. One quick aside, this channel is about music production and synthesizers, but I think this topic can apply to really anything. If you have any kind of a passion, something that you've always wanted to do that you've been putting off or procrastinating on, I think this video might help you out to hopefully get started and give you some direction along the way. Just start. I spent years making excuses for why I couldn't start a YouTube channel. And if I had started back then, I would be much further along in this journey and process. I've heard someone say that we will put off one or two hours of really hard work and research that we need to do to learn how to do something for years. When if we would just buckle down and learn those one or two things that we really need to get good at to do a thing, then we would eliminate so many months of procrastination and self-loathing and doubt and all of those things that get in our way. As with any endeavor that we really want to do, the best time to start it was yesterday. But the second best time to start it is right now. And since right now is all we have, just start. You're going to mess up. Nobody's going to watch your first few videos. And that's fine. You probably don't want them to because you're going to be messing up. You're going to be learning. Eventually, you'll want to private all of those videos because they're so embarrassing. You don't know this, but I just spent like an hour making a track with the analog heat. Unfortunately, my audio was not recording for any of that. And when you look back on those a year, two years, three years later, you'll be amazed at how far you've come, taking one step at a time, getting a little bit better with each video. Focus on the process, because that's really the only thing that any of us have any control over anyway, just getting a little bit better from where we were yesterday. And if you allow the results to become your focus, well, well, let me show you. Just one second. If we allow ourselves to be focused on the results too early, it becomes really difficult with the emotional roller coaster that you will take on every single peak and valley. And the reason for that is you don't have the benefit of zooming out because there's nowhere to zoom out to. You simply haven't been doing it long enough to have perspective in the grand scheme of things. When a video that you spent hours and hours working on does poorly, you feel ultimately defeated unless you take it as an opportunity to learn and improve from there. Early on, you will see results because you've gone from doing nothing to doing something, and that encourages you to continue to do what you're doing. But at some point, you will hit a lull. And while I think we realize on some level when we first start that it won't always be going straight up, some of these zigs and zags downward lasted weeks, even a couple months, with me still cranking out one to two videos a week, putting in a lot of work into each and every one. And that got challenging. At some point over the summer, I began to feel like, well, maybe this just isn't worth doing. But for whatever reason, I continued on. And now when we zoom out and get a broader picture of what's actually happened, overall, the line has gone up. In fact, I've had some of the biggest gains that I've seen in the channel over the last few months. Sometimes to get out of these valleys, it requires adjustments. And sometimes it just requires not giving up. You won't run out of ideas. This was a concern that I had early on. I was like, well, I have like two or three video ideas. How do I sustain a channel putting out a video a week with two or three video ideas? Well, you have to start, and then you realize that creativity is a muscle, and the more you use that muscle, the easier it becomes to come up with new ideas. In fact, every idea spawns several more ideas. Eventually, you'll have so many ideas that the bigger challenge will be which ones to focus your attention on and which ones to abandon. Just for the sake of example, this is my book of YouTube ideas. 
I'll never get to all of them. Just like in life, knowing what to say no to is really more important and allows you to focus your attention on what you really need to focus on. Or in music, knowing what to leave out is sometimes more important than knowing what to add. You know, those are actually some pretty good video ideas, so I'm just gonna write those down real quick. Oh no. Be yourself and know that some people won't like you, but a lot of people will. Showing your personality builds authenticity and authenticity builds trust. And the unique thing about YouTube is you can leverage that to build really incredible relationships, which you might not build otherwise. People are gonna start to feel like they know you, which makes them more comfortable with you. And I've actually had people who I've admired in my particular industry for years approach me because they watched a video and it's still really weird, but it would never have happened if I hadn't shown more of myself on YouTube. Not like that, this is not only fans. Now, the other side of that is yes. As you grow, more and more people are going to be exposed to you and your personality and your content. And even though only a small percentage of those people will be that overall number will continue to grow as well. Many of them will be passive aggressive and act like they're doing you some kind of favor. A few will be aggressive aggressive and act like they're doing something really earth shattering and groundbreaking by leaving hate comments on the internet as if that were not the lowest form of human expression. And almost all of them are dealing with frustrations in their personal lives or something that has nothing to do with you whatsoever. And probably very little to lose because they take out their frustrations on other people and probably have a hard time sustaining any meaningful relationships. In other words, it's not really your problem, so don't worry about it. To quote Marcus Aurelius, it never ceases to amaze me we love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinions than our own. So if you truly believe in what you're doing, what someone else thinks about it really should be of very little consequence to you. But it is important to be aware of it and know that it can affect you if you let it. All in all, my experience has been far more positive. I found a community of people who genuinely want to learn and have been incredibly supportive. And I think the positive benefits of putting yourself out there, trying to grow and build a community far outweigh any negatives that will come your way. I have nothing to pitch to you in this video, no sponsorships. I just hope that you take something from it. And as I said at the beginning, hopefully this will give you a perspective that I kind of wish that I saw more of online of someone who is still very much in the early stages and still trying to figure things out. Definitely don't have all the answers, but I am definitely further along than I was this time last year and have learned a lot just by committing to doing the thing every single day. If you got anything out of the video, you can click the little button that looks like like one of these, or maybe it actually looks like that, I guess. And if you wanna see occasional rambles like this, you can subscribe to the channel. Although if you don't really like music and synthesizers, you might not want to subscribe to the channel. It probably is not the best pitch for subscribing to the channel. I told you I didn't know everything. <laughs>